So, welcome back to OWF11. Uh, you are on Intellian TV. We're here with uh, Mark Shuttleworth, Ubuntu founder. Very pleased to have you here, Mark. Welcome. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. So, Linux was created 20 years ago, a, uh, a hell of a long time. So, what do you uh, think about all the evolution of Linux throughout this time? I think Linux has been at the heart of uh, five or six different fundamental changes in computing over the last 20 years. Uh, and like all of open source, uh, uh, it distills wisdom, you know, it distills energy uh, very, very efficiently. Um, so I think we can use Linux as a proxy for open source because if you look at all the fundamental changes in technology that have been driven by open source, Linux sort of is the, is the poster child for all of that. Mm. And uh, talking, boiling it more down to Ubuntu, so what, what, uh, what are the successes of Ubuntu? Well, uh, Ubuntu is only seven years old, so it has a shorter list of successes. But I think the things we're most proud of, um, first, making Linux easy to use. You know, I think if we really want to bring the benefits of free software and open source computing to a very wide audience, we have to think about our users not as computer people, but as you know, everyday users who are more interested in the objective than in the technology they use to get to the objective. And I think with Ubuntu, we've really shown that that's possible, that Linux can be easy to use, that it can be fun, uh, you know, the favorite thing for me is going around the world and meeting people who tell me that their brother uses Ubuntu. I met someone, you know, on an airplane yesterday that said their brother uses uh, Ubuntu or their, 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 their grandparents use Ubuntu. Uh, and that's really, really sort of heartwarming for me. Uh, and then I think the other um, really profound achievement has been um, the popularity of Ubuntu in cloud computing. You know, if you look on Amazon Web Services or on Rackspace or on any of the other big public clouds, Ubuntu is the most popular um, uh, core ho guest operating system when people are building things in the cloud. I think the combination of those, you know, the cloud for developers and the desktop for end users is, is something to be proud of. Great. So, I mean, we're, we, we've talked about the success. What do you think about the challenges, probably even the challenges that, you'd have, that you had in the past and the ones you foresee in the future? Mm -hmm. So I think in the next couple of years, the key challenges on the desktop front are going to be to, to become completely mobile. Uh, now, exactly what that means is difficult. You know, I'm not going to speculate. But it's certainly true that we need to be able to run very well on the phone if for no other reason that people are using Ubuntu to build that kind of product. So, uh, so like really being a fantastic mobile environment, competing with Android, is uh, one of the key challenges. And I think we're in a great position to do that because Ubuntu is so widely loved by developers, so widely used in industry. Um, and it's royalty free. So for people building phone and mobile type products, it's a really good base. Um, and then the other challenge is going to be to, to adjust to the shift in the enterprise away from sort of traditional Unix replacement towards cloud computing and to become, you know, to become one with the cloud essentially, um, to be as uh, scalable, as agile, as um, elastic as the cloud is. And uh, that also will require a bunch of work. I'm really excited about Juju for that. Uh, and, you know, we'll see what the future holds. What, uh, you, you're talking about Juju. So what's the, what's the state of Juju right now? Um, so Juju is a, a, an open source project written in Python and Go. It works across multiple platforms. I think it runs on the Mac OS and on Ubuntu and a bunch of others. Um, but essentially it lets you design workloads for the cloud or for your workstation um, or for a traditional physical deployment. So it essentially lets you specify for a, 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 a cloud service or any kind of server service um, all of the deployment practices, the dependencies, configuration that's required and so on. Uh, so it's much more powerful than traditional configuration management. Um, it works uh, well for developers, you've got to work on a train or on a plane or at home, uh, but it also works when you're deploying workloads out onto the cloud. So it's a very efficient tool to let um, developers and operations people, DevOps essentially, um, uh, talk clearly about how to deploy the infrastructure and the services that they're building. Well, thank you very much, Mark, for being with us. Great to speak. Thank you. Thank you. See you guys soon on Intelli TV.